it's Giselle. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I am going to show you this really simple ombre look that I did today using one of my favorite palettes, super affordable, the Milani Gilded Violet Palette. We're going to use three brushes. It's really simple and it might look like it's really difficult to do, but quite honestly, I'm not a pro. I can't do all of these intricate looking eyeshadows that some of these amazing YouTubers can do, but I figured I would show you how to do this look using just a few brushes and your fingers. What I'm going to do is list all of the products that I don't show you on camera down below, like my foundation and my lipstick. And We're going to start off priming the lid with the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. I just use my ring finger and I put it all over the lid. Blend that in and I like to use this as a primer. At first I didn't really like to use this as a primer but I find that in the winter months it actually works out better for me. I don't think I would use this as an eye primer in the summer months when my skin tends to get really oily but in the winter months it has been working out well. So, and it adds, you know, a little color to your lid as well. So next we're gonna go in with this shade right here called Heavy Petal. And we're just using a Morphe uh, like fluff blending brush. Because my mirror is over here, I'm gonna use the palette mirror to put the makeup on. So what I do with this color is I basically put it all over the top lid and I blend it up towards my brow. I just kind of blend it in, going in windshield motions, windshield wiper motions. You can go in as many times as you'd like and I'm basically just shading that in and I like to focus on the outer corner with this color as well. So outer corner and then just blending in the crease and up towards the eyebrow. This final time that I'm going in with the brush, I'm not going to tap out any of the excess product. So this is going to deepen it up just a little bit more. Next, we're going in with this color right here called Kiss Kiss, and I'm using a Morphe uh, Detail Liner Brush, and this is this might be a weird way of doing this, but I find that I like to use this brush to put on my dark colors to kind of contain them to an area so that I don't start off with like this giant mess of really bright, bold colors all over in areas where I don't want them. So I like to use this. I'm just gonna go in and put some on there. What I do is I kind of just gently place it in the corner, the outer V, and a little bit into the crease right here. Now, what I'm gonna do is go back in with the other brush I was using, no additional product on it, and we're just gonna blend this in. I'm going to take that color and blend it in right in the crease and gently in towards the middle of the lid. Now I go in a few more times and I do this. I feel like this gives me better control of the blending and how dark it actually gets. So do you see that? I'm placing that right here in the outer V and then I'm taking this brush and blending it in to the crease. You can do this as many times as you'd like to achieve the color or the darkness that you're looking for. I did three times blending on this left eye so that's what we're going to do is just place it a little bit more. 
And it's okay if you have fallout because I clean that up after the fact. Keep blending. You can never blend enough, honestly. Just keep blending. Last step that I do for this shade is I take the liner brush. I don't put any additional product on it. I take the additional product that's left on this liner brush. I take that and I, and I place it in the outer V. And this last part, I do not blend. So this last time that I'm going in there with this color, I do not blend. Next up, we're gonna go in with this shade right here called Your Majesty, right up the top here, this beautiful cranberry shade. We're not gonna use a brush for this. I'm gonna use my ring finger. You see that? Really pretty color. What I do with this is I actually place this on the outer V over the color that we just brushed in. And don't be afraid to get in there with your fingers. Honestly, you really can't mess this up. Now, what I like to do is take the same brush that I was using to blend, and I use that to gently blend the top crease, kind of just clean up that area and make it blend in nicely. Next up, we're gonna use our pointer finger. We're gonna go in with this next shade, No Angel, right here. We're gonna take some of this, and we're gonna gently place it in the middle of the lid, creating an ombre effect. So keep it contained to the middle of the lid, but I also like to gently place a little bit over the top of the Your Majesty shade that we just used to kind of give it a nice, ombre but blended effect so that it doesn't look so harsh. You can go in as many times as you'd like. You can go in with a wet brush. I honestly feel like this is the easiest thing. Seriously, just using your fingers. Again, I go back in with my blending brush and kind of just give it a little bit of wiper windshield motion. The next part of the lid that we have is the inner corner. So I like to take this highlighter shade right here called It's Delicate. What I do is I take my pinky finger for this one because now we're going into the smaller part of the lid. And I like to gently place that over the inner lid right here. And again, you can like overlap it a little so that it blends nicely with that middle shade that you just put in. And again, going in there and just kind of cleaning up any excess product that was in there. I like to go back in with the heavy petal shade right here. Tap off some of the excess and go in there and just clean that up the top so that you get a nice, even matte color on the top. And then you have your shimmer shades on the bottom. We're gonna take a Morphe smudge brush that looks like that. And we're gonna go into the It's Delicate highlighter right here and put that all on the eyebrow bone right here. I like to outline the eyebrow. If you don't like highlight or a lot of shimmer, you probably don't want to do that last piece. Next step is going in there and I like to just kind of clean up some of what we have here. And again, you're going to have fallout. So that's just how it is. You can go in and clean it up after. Like 
Makeup is supposed to be fun. Get in there, get messy, clean up anything that gets out of the area that you don't want to have color in. It's fine. <laughs> with this smudge brush, going in with this Kiss Kiss shade right here, and we're just going to put that all on the lower lid. I do not like to put a lot of this product on the lower lid. I kind of like it to be not as bold down there. So you can darken it up as much as you would like to. I personally don't want this color to be that dark. So if you take it and you just run it down your lower lash and just give it a little smudge, that's all you need. What I like to do now is take a damp little wedge sponge like this and you can use that to clean up the area. You can see kind of stood contained into the eye area of where I wanted the color. I think using this to add the color helps with that. But if you get a lot of eye makeup like all around this area, not to worry, just clean it up. And then I like to go back in there with my foundation sponge with the leftover foundation and I just clean it all up. We have the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in the shade Zero. My mirror is over here, so I need both hands. What I do is I um, use this to like open the lid up, and then I'm gonna just put this on the inner top corner. Next, I have the NYX uh, Wonder Pencil, which is an eye brightening pencil, concealer, lip liner, all in one. The light shade, and we're gonna use this on the lower lid to brighten it up. Last and final step is using your favorite mascara, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You guys have heard me talk about this mascara on my channel. I just absolutely love the brush. I've purchased the full brush before, but honestly, I like, I like the travel size a lot better. Um, I find that the full size one is super heavy to hold. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I do have like beginning signs of arthritis. So um, it actually does hurt for me to use the full size one. It's just like really top heavy, like to hold that top of the full size one. I just, I don't like it. Final step is going in with some blush. I'm using the... Hot Mama Shade from The Balm. And I'm going in with my Real Techniques 302 brush. I use it very often. So we're just going in. I'm going to put some on my nose my chin give it a little bit of color because your girl is pale i sometimes do this yeah this is about as much contouring as i get but i don't i don't use like real contouring palette <laughs> sometimes i use bronzer that's the look that is the cranberry ombre look using the milani gilded violet palette and it's super easy if i can do it anybody can do it i'm not a pro and you don't need to be a pro to do makeup i think that's a big thing i think a lot of people are scared to start doing makeup because they feel like they're not a professional they're not like a makeup artist you don't need to be a makeup artist to play around with makeup Makeup is supposed to be fun. So take the time to play around with it. You're gonna make mistakes, we all do. But I find the more that I play around with different looks, different makeup, you're gonna start to feel more comfortable 
and get to know what you really like. If you liked this video, please go ahead and leave me a like so that I know you enjoyed it. I would be so happy if you wanted to join my subscriber family. If you like these types of videos, you like some of my other videos, check them out. I hope you will consider subscribing. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. See you soon, bye.